Hi guys, just wanted to share vulnerably um, about my journey in um, conscious comedy over the last um, few months and I wanted to introduce you to my amazing um, mentor and guru um, who's he's basically a conscious comedy coach um, and so anyway this is him, his name's KLC. So he's been basically coaching me for some time now and um, it's basically what he's teaching me is how to be funny authentically but also like be really honest and resonant in my truth and basically like not basically to like not accumulate bad karma in my comedy but also to be really funny and actually like have that as a service and contribution to the world so um i just wanted to introduce him and maybe just like have a short interview so yeah, sure so what so what do you think about um conscious comedy well i think like they I often say my guru when i was in the ashram he, he told me like he didn't actually tell me anything. I was there for about two years and he never spoke. But I think it's more about what's not said. And what wasn't said was the fact that mm. I, I wasn't laughing enough at you. Mm. You know, often I'd think about you, I'd look through, I'd scroll through your Instagram and I was like, you know, the, all the darkness, all of my inner shadow work was happening. Right. Oh, of course, because it's all about, that's the thing. People don't understand about comedy, right? It's, like, it's, it's all shadow work. It's very much like the hate and the ridicule and the internal jealousy of your inner child. Because basically when we come from the womb, right, mm. That's there's no light there. Mm. There's no light. That's why I try to blindfold myself to understand mm. that we're basically all incapacitated, we're all handicapped in some way. So it's, right. it's actually stepping into the minority within our, all of us. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's yeah. so conscious and yeah. comedic as well. Like you just yeah. nail it. Wow, it's really funny. That's amazing. So okay, so because people don't know this, like because the ashram that you were studying at, mm. obviously that's like one path to consciousness, mm. like comedic consciousness, path comedic of karma, Vedic comedy, Vedic, Vedic comedy, right? Mm. Exactly. And like okay, so what I want to ask you is like, how does that relate to um like laughter yoga? Mm. Like happiness yoga. Yeah, so basically what's happening around the sacral and root chakras is when you're actually laughing, it's sort of like a one-tenth of an orgasm. And I think the important thing is like, you know, when you're looking at someone, you're breathing in, the actual tantric rainbow that you're sharing is sort of like the third eye emasculating itself. So we no longer have to have a gender separation. So when you're laughing, it's kind of like you want to enter into the other person's body um, and so is that like the union with like the divine, yeah, like Shiva Shakti? That's exactly that right. It's, it's sort of becoming one through the non-sexual penetration of your human molecules. Like there's actually little molecules in the universe because there's a, a singular matrix. And so when you laugh with me, you are me because we are actually oh, compatible. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay, well, okay, so have you ever had an experience where you've like you know, you've been doing your um, conscious comedy and people mm. weren't laughing? Like, do they sometimes not get it? Well, that's the thing that wasn't said in the ashram, is okay. when people are not laughing, that's the deepest uh, humor they're experiencing. Cause so they are laughing, but they don't know it. They don't know. that They haven't caught up with their own laughter. With their own consciousness, because Conscious. they're unconscious. So in the conscious realm, before the word was spoken, right, because there was the God, that was like he said something and it was like bang you know right. so before the word was the laugh oh before okay yeah so they're laughing and they're about to catch up with the the humor in my well, world because sometimes that happens to me like i haven't even said anything yet and people are already laughing so does that mean that exactly oh my god so i've yeah. cracked it i've cracked the code you're actually reversing time <sighs> in that sequence where you're experiencing something before you've actually created it oh my god wow mm. see i cuz i totally knew that like, I yeah. felt that. And, like, I just, because I heard, like, Shiva was whispering to me, like, you're doing it, you're doing it, right? Yeah. You're totally on the path, you know? And yeah. I felt it because, like, I would get, you know, like, my Kundalini, Kundalini energy would kriyas, rise. Yeah. yeah, my Kriyas, exactly. Yeah. And I would be, like, shaking. I was like, oh, my God, yeah. people are laughing. That's why and when, I haven't we're, even said anything yet. when we're doing the body work the other day, yeah. you know, and then, and then I was pleasuring you with the crystal. Right. Right. And then that, 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 that the sensation of pleasure was actually the laughter that oh, you've been repressing. It's like internal laughter. Oh, my yeah. God. That's you've got so to let amazing. it out. It's very healthy. Wow. Very healthy. Because I've had, like, obviously, I've had, like, heaps of, like, yoni work before, but, like, mm. this one was just, like, 
it was like it really felt like I could feel like the sacred clown archetype like activating. Yeah, it comes from the it's the from the red the red road from South America actually. Oh, of course. From the yeah, the sacred clown. Is that the peyote path or is that something different? Uh yeah, mes- mescaline. Um basically Oh, because like masculine. Masculine oh, for God, masculine, yeah. yeah. And um basically the reverse cowgirl position that we were, I was developing with you is actually representing the sacred clown riding backwards on the horse into the storm. Oh, I think I've seen that in my tarot card deck. Yeah. So yeah. it's like not needing to see where you're going, you know? It's like understanding the pleasure of the laughter without having to look the joker in the face. And that's like the heart of improvisation, which is like the heart of like conscious the comedy. The moment. Oh my God. It's wow, like, it's um, presence. It's like um, in the power <sighs> of now when... If you don't laugh, it's only because your soul has preceded the word and you're actually residing in God's palm. Which so is, so yeah. really Eckhart Tolle is, is basically a pioneer of conscious comedic co- clowning. He's, he's the next Robin Williams. We just haven't heard the laugh test out. Oh my God, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Okay, well, I guess we'd get better get started on our next session. Yeah, I'll get, um, I'll get the oils. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Um, I'll be back with another video um, just to share my vulnerable truth with you.